Hello everyone! Hi! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art Studios. Studios! I am Lee. And I'm Jeremy. With my Joker gloves on. <laughs> and uh, you're about to watch us do another episode of acrylic pour painting here at the Massey Art Studio. Awesome. Um, what's today's episode going to be about? Well, what I will is, tell what you. Is today's well, let episode. me tell you, because I know you're not <laughs> fully tuned in either, because I haven't told you yet. But um, today is all, go is all going to be about highly pigmented paints. So today, it's going to be an episode about goldens. Um, we use all sorts of paints mm. here in the studio. We use Artist Loft, we use Liquitex Basics, we use yeah. Amsterdam, um, but we also use Golden. And um, one of the things that people say to us in the comments box a lot is that the Golden paints are really expensive. Well, they are more expensive ounce to ounce, but you use a lot less of them in your pores. So what we're gonna show you in today's pour is just what we can do with a very small out amount of goldens hmm. and a lot of pouring medium. And I'll explain the uh, the mixing recipe to you as we go through this episode. Awesome. Yeah? Yeah. We've picked some really beautiful colors, which I'm really excited about. And okay. yet again, no gold. No gold. No gold, so no need for a moment as we as we used to enjoy however we do have bronze so it's kind of cheating i guess but there's, but there's no gold it's there's still a metallic there um if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel already and at least one out of every two of you hasn't then please consider it it costs you nothing but it helps us grow the channel we're just uh, about five thousand subscribers right now and we're trying to get ourselves to ten thousand which would be really awesome. That'd be awesome. It would be. So we really appreciate you thinking about it, even if you don't do it. And um, that's it. Um, Sharon Sanders, if you have not yet emailed us to claim your prize of this wonderful piece here, as you won it in the Who's Poor Is It Anyway episode, please do email us at massyartstudio at gmail.com. We'll give you a couple more days to do so. If we haven't heard from you before the end of the weekend, then we'll pick another winner. Um, so hopefully we'll hear from you very, very soon. Yes. Um, that's it, guys. Let's get to painting. We were excited to show you these colors. So come with us. Let's do some painting. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right, ladies and gents, it is Lee here. And um, as I just said, we're going to do a highly pigmented golden acrylic episode today. Um, let me take you through the colors first and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with them. So with our golden colors starting in our tubes, we have quinacridone crimson, which is a really beautiful kind of like crimsony red color. And to that, we've added a tiny bit of the iridescent pearl white. I have iridescent bronze fine, which we're out of. So we've just used all of that today. We have our Prussian blue, which is a staple here. So we have a big tub of it. We have a brand new color for us today, which is dioxazine purple. We've used this in other brands, but we've not used this in golden before. And then we have our iridescent pearl. Now our iridescent pearl has been added to our crimson. And in our flow extender of Prussian blue, I've added a tiny bit of titanium white, which was the Amsterdam color, and a tiny bit of the bronze. So um, I'll show you this when we actually put some on the canvas, but it's this really beautiful kind of metallic-y color. So that's the colors. What am I gonna do with them? Well, I'm gonna take this empty cup. I'm going to layer this, not dirty pour it. I am gonna layer the colors and then I'm gonna straight pour it onto my canvas. So that is my plan. Um, let's get to layering these colors. I'm going to use the white in between the more dominant colors. Jeremy, I'm going to layer my cup right here. Um, and how am I going to do this? Okay, thinking about this. Okay, I'm going to take some of the dioxazine purple. Just put a very small layer of that in the bottom. Next to a small layer of bronze. 
and a small layer of the Prussian blue. Next with a slightly larger layer of the pearl. Let's go in with the Grenacridome. You see those colours coming through, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in with some bronze next to the Grenacridome. I've just seen that this is very like red, white and blue all of a sudden. Okay. I'm going to do some bronze next to the white. And then some other per the dioxazine. <laughs> I'm going to put that next to the quinacridome and see what happens. I really do love that color. Uh, no, I'm not going to put that next to the white because that will go a shade of pink. Okay. A bit more of the Prussian. A little bit more white to the purple. All right, so that's my layered cup. Now this is a 16 by 16 inch canvas. These are actually from Blick. Um, we thought we'd try them out because they had a particularly good sale on. Um, they are, it is, backed on the back and Jeremy has put the push pins in here for me too. So this is how we prefer to prep our canvases for the studio. There's no knocking them off or cups flying out. And if you push these in hard enough, these pins will not fall out too. And Jeremy always does a great job of it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take my layered cup and I'm going to straight pour this onto the canvas, but I'm going to straight pour it into a puddle of my bronze. I'm gonna get every last bit of this out. And once I've straight poured this, I'm then going to use a flow extender. My flow extender being Prussian blue and a tiny bit of bronze around the edges. So, Jeremy, I'm going to ring pour this right into the center of this canvas if you are ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. I get every last drop of this out. Right. So taking a little skewer, I'm just going to fix that little squiggly bit in the bottom. There we go. All right. Okay. So that is my straight pour onto this canvas. Next, I'm going to take my flow extender and I'm going to pull this around my canvas to help me allow for my composition to stretch. All right, so I have now flooded this canvas with my Prussian blue and bronze mix, which I have to say is really pretty. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there's like a little sheen. Can you see it, Jeremy? Oh, it's beautiful. Within the Prussian blue. It's not quite as nice as the phalo turquoise with gold, oh, which nice. was like a stunning color. Anyway, let's stretch this bad boy out. Let's see what's underneath here. It is now what we like to call within the studio, Tilton time. Tilton time.
All right, folks, that's me tilted out on this one. Um, if I were to play with this any more, then my lines would get really stretched out. Um, but I still have some really great rings, even though I didn't ring pour it. Or, sorry, I've got some really great lines. Um, I really liked what ha was happening with the bits in the middle as I was stretching it out. So when I anchored it over on this corner, I decided to do the same on that corner. And then the two corners have got all of the Dioxazine purple on this side and the Prussian blue on this side. Um, so yeah, I'm really interested to see how this one dries because we've got a lot of darker colors in there. Hopefully we've lightened them with the additions of the iridescent pearl and the titanium white. Um, but I'm going to take you in for a close-up so that you can see exactly what we can see here on this wet piece. Um, I'll torch it off right now. I'll clean up my edges and then we'll take you in for a close-up. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, it is Jeremy here, and I am so excited about this. Woohoo! Um, I can't wait to like get my cup together. And you know, how's everybody doing today, by the way? I hope everybody's been having a really good day. Um, so let's get to mixing my cup because I am ready to get started with this. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to decide on what color I should use first. Uh, I think. I'm going to start with, honestly, I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of this. This little bit of red. I mean, but I'm gonna do just a tiny bit. I just want a hint of it, because that's the last color that's going to come out of my, my cup. I'm gonna do a little bit of the pearl white. Then I'm gonna go bronze, a little bit of this. Bronze is lovely. It's absolutely splendid. <laughs> Some of the purple there. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more of the purple. Then I'm going to go white. Or pearl, I should say. Then I'm going to do blue. Bronze. Mm, that bronze and the blue look so good next to each other in the cup. Right. Yeah. So regal. Mm. I think I'm going to have to do purple again. Some of this delicious red. Because you said in my pour you liked the pink, so you're doing that intentionally. I am doing that Because you know that's going to lighten out that red. I'm, I'm definitely doing this intentionally. So for anyone that was thinking, it's going to turn pink, that's exactly what he wanted to do. Yeah. I stick layer. And I didn't mention, but on these 16 by 16 inch canvases, if you multiply 16 by 16 and then divide by 28, you're going to get approximately 10 ounces. Now these cups hold 16. So um, we didn't go to the very, very top, or I didn't, Jeremy's not on this one, but uh, 10 to 15 ounces is where you can be for this kind I'm of I'm going canvas. crazy. You're going all the way to the top. I am. Um... I am. Well, There's my cup. There's your cup. Yes. Now you didn't say what technique you're doing. I am going to do a ring pour, but I'm not gonna wreck it this time. I'm just going to do a ring pour and I'm going to stretch it 
here and there, and we'll see what happens. Okay, hang on one second, sir. Just yeah, of course. This is a beautiful layered cup. It is, it's lovely. Okay. Okay, you go for it. All right. Oh, that left. I am very interested to see where this is going to go. You know, and I got my flow extender here. So let's go ahead and I want to get my corners really good. I did say that I was going to share the recipe. Um, so normally we do 50% flow troll, 25% acrylic and 25% Liquitex gloss medium. Well, with the Golden's paints, you only need between 10 and 15% of the total volume to be acrylic paint because it's such heavy body paint. So for example, if you were going to do two ounces of gloss medium, two ounces of Liquitex Basics or Artist Loft Acrylic, and then four ounces of Floetrol, this time around you only need to have an ounce of Golden's paint. And you know, those tubes are eight ounces, well that's at least eight pours, plus there's always leftovers. Um, the, two, the tubs are 16 ounces and the big tubs are 32 ounces. So, you know, they may be more expensive, but you do get a, a lot more volume from the paints. Bang for your buck. Bang for your buck indeed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Uh, torching time. Torching time. It is. <laughs> Just as a quick reminder. Okay, now it's tilting time. It is tilting time. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna bring it. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this around actually, so that way I can. Tell me about that little boy playing in the kindergarten. Mm. Mm. Life wasn't always good to him. Fine in school, he tried to win them. 
All right, guys, so I really am not liking the center part. I'm loving everything else that's happening around it. So I decided to mix another cup. I have a little bit of paint in here um, and I'm going to just pour this again right here in the center and I'm gonna stretch it this way, I think, tilt it this way. So let's see what happens. Okay, I got a little squiggly there. I kind of like that. I think it looks cute. Yeah, it's not so much a squiggly. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's turn this around this away. Let me see here. Let's get this thing, let's get this opened up. I think I'm done. I love it. I think I'm done. I really, really, at first I was a little afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> I kept thinking that you shouldn't add that second cup, but then actually when you added it, it looked really, really awesome. I kind of liked those little watermelon, those blood orange slices you had, <laughs> but I far prefer what you did with that second cup. And it was very just lilac before. Yeah. Now you've got the blue in there again. I get the highlights of this beautiful red yeah and i love that love. curve of that like yeah. ring that's gone around it yeah no i really really like this and the last picture you did was very green this one's got very lovely purples to it it's a yeah. very different color palette yes so i hope you guys like this i'm gonna go ahead and torch it i'm gonna get my edges and we'll take him in for a close-up take you in for a close-up
there you have it. Folks. There you have it. Erect. No, no. Not erect. Not erect. I see, I'm so used to saying it. <laughs> a ring, paw, and a straight paw. Yes. From scratch. Okay, so we have a confession to make. Unfortunately, we are painting these a little too light, and so we don't have the dried, dried results. results to show you. So let's talk about the pour that we just did. Yes. How much do you prefer wrecking your ring than just doing a straight ring? Um, I love to wreck my rings. Right. I love it, but um, you can also get really good fluid movement with just a ring pour right. or a straight pour. It depends on how you stretch it. Right. Um, so I like I like a good ring pour, right. but I love to wreck a ring. I mean, I think you get so much more like like just curves and sexiness out of a wrecked ring than right. than, uh, than ring pours or straight pours. Personally, for me, right. um, I like my painting sexy. <laughs> you like your curves. I do. I love my curves. Uh, I I really, really, really loved the ring pour that you just did. Thank you. If I poured that ring pour, I'd be so happy with it. It was really beautiful, and I can guarantee that you guys will love it. And I know you'll be talking about it in the comments right now. Um, so I, I thought it was really stunning. I I really liked my straight pour. I for some reason when I was tilting the composition, it didn't go the way that I normally do it. Even though mm. I was tilting in kind of a similar sort of way, so I really played with the composition on this one and, and maybe over tilted just ever so slightly. Um, but I still really liked what happened, and I love those. I do love those yeah. little kind of waves that Squiggly. you always get. Yeah, yeah, I know there are certain people out there, Mina Villegas, that don't love them. <laughs> uh, but I really enjoy those that come out with the straight cops. Now, we don't have the dried results, but we will take you back in, just have another quick look at the wet results again, and maybe take you in for some different angles. And sorry about that, guys. It's just so cold, like, in the studio, yeah. that it's taking, like, five days for the paintings to dry. Right. Um, it's crazy. So, yeah. We'll so catch ourselves up over the weekend, we promise. Yes. But let's have a look at the pieces again, just one last time. So there was one last look at the wet results again. So um, as I said, we'll catch ourselves up and you'll be seeing dried results from now on in again. Yes. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We oh. really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so very much. Thank you to everyone for coming here and chatting with us at 5 p.m. on a Friday night. Thank you to the Patreons for all your love and support. We appreciate you too. Yes. Um, that's it from us. We will see you back here on Sunday. Sunday is going to be an exciting day. There's a lot of premieres happening. Mm -hmm. um, and Mina and Canella and Erica and Sarah and Tammy have got their collaboration. So I know you guys will be watching that too. Yes. The lovely Kathleen from Cos Creations has got her auction on Saturday. So um, yeah, jam packed weekend of really fun stuff. I know. This weekend is so exciting. It is. And we'll see you on Sunday day for a premiere too. Yeah. So enjoy the rest of your week guys. We'll see you for some fun over the weekend. See you then. Bye guys. Bye. Hey so it's that time for us to thank some extra special people and that's our Patreons. If you didn't know what our Patreon account was it is a completely separate part of the Massey Art Studio mm. and we've got some really awesome people that have decided to join and they get at certain levels different perks. Things like an opportunity to see sneak peek pictures, an opportunity to see exclusive behind the scenes videos. Yep. Some of our patrons get to join live streams with us yeah. directly. At another level, you might also get the opportunity to have a tutorial with us. Yeah. Um, and there's only a handful of people in there. And then at the very top level, a diamond pourer, 
those guys get to choose the colors for an actual episode that you guys see on the channel. And then they pick one of the two canvases that we make, an 11 by 14, mm -hmm. and they get a free canvas every single month. So um, we really appreciate everyone that wants to take an extra special look and join our Patreon account with us. Yes. Now we'd like to thank at the gold level, Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. Thank you to our gold MPs, the Massey Posse. We also have at the platinum level, we've got Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And at the diamond pouring level, um, our extra special Patreon, Laurie, AKA Sparkles. Sparkles. Thank you so much to everyone and to everyone else that's listed below right here. We really appreciate you and all your support and wanting to take an extra special um, support and care of the Matty Art Studio. Thank you guys. Bye guys.